Welcome to Learn to Knit with May and Colleen. My name is Colleen. And my name is May. And in this lesson, which is lesson number four, uh, we're going to learn how to purl. Let's take a look what we're going to use. Um, I'm going to use some white yarn and May's going to use cream. Uh, yeah, an off-white is what I think it's technically called, which is good. So, and we need our knitting needles. So we'll put that aside. So let's take a look. So what we're going to do, and I have to be honest with you, normally you wouldn't do this much purling in a pattern, but we're going to purl an entire dishcloth. It's going to end up looking just like this. Um, and so that's perfect. And so we'll have end up with two. So that's the one that we did with knitting. You can see the previous lessons to do that. And now we're going to do something with purling. So we learn the purl stitch. Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to cast on for 40 stitches is what we're going to do. And to do that, we're going to use the long tail cast on. Um, so you can go back to our lesson number one if you want to see that um, and we'll get started. Okay. The first thing is took that trick to pull that yarn out, Colleen. Do we pull it out from in here or the other side? Well, I already did it for you and oh. it's wrapped around for you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're right. welcome. So we're just ready make to sure go. Yeah, so exactly. we just kind of do that trick again about wrapping around 40 stitches again to see yes, how many stitches perfect. Cast yeah. on. So 40 times. We'll do that 40 times. And don't count out loud because we get mixed up. Yep, we <laughs> will. And I have to find the end of my yarn, so that's okay. on again. We'll make a slip knot so we go around and then we pull that yarn through and hold on to the tail and we'll tighten it up. And then we put that one over our needle and tighten it up. We grab that with our hand. We're going to put our finger and our thumb in between and make a slingshot and then we go under what's on our thumb over what's by the finger and through the hole that's there and pull it snug. So under, over, through, and snug. And we do that 40 times, Colleen? Yep, one okay. more time. Over, through, good. And we do that until we have 40 stitches. I have four until we have 40 stitches on our needle. I've got my 40 stitches on there, Colleen. I think I did them a little tight, um, but uh, we'll see how it goes when you're All right, and I have this. my 40 stitches as well. Now, what purling does is it makes a bump towards you, all right? So because we're making bumps toward us every single row, we're, it's going to look very similar to the other one, but it's going to give us a lot of practice. You always want to make sure that the tail end is over to your left and then the other one is to the right. And this time we need the yarn above us. Now, when you knit, you go in from the front and make an X. And when you purl, you go under and you come back through. You're still going to make an X, but the needle on the right hand comes in front. Okay, so let me review that. The yarn has to be over the needle, and then you go in from top to bottom. And here we go. So all we have to do is wrap the yarn around, and then we're going to pull it through and take it off. So we, we're going to make an X but your right needle goes over your left to make the X. You wrap the yarn around, you pull it through, and it comes off. So you go in on the right needle over left, wrap it around, come back, pull it out and through. Let's do one more and I'll try and go super slow. So we're going to come in right needle over left, there's our X. We're going to wrap around the right needle and pull down and then we pull that needle through and then it comes off. Can I give that a try Colleen? Absolutely. Okay I'm going to make sure that I'm doing it with the yarn over to my right that's attached to the ball. Perfect. I'm going to go under that. Yes. I'm going to come in backwards. Good. And then I'm going to go around that way. Beautiful. And Oops, I'm going to try that again. No problem. You had it. Like, and that way, mm -hmm. 
I go back. Make your X, yeah, right now. And then I go back that way. Yeah. And under. And then take it off. And then, again, I'm not quite as sophisticated as you, but I think that'll come the more you do what I exactly. think. Exactly. And, and then you pull it a little tighter. Yep, pull it pull snug. That's the one. That's there the one. Go. Good. Perfect. Around. Push it through. And bring it off. Beautiful job. You're doing great. It looks right. fantastic, me. Again, we'll do one more, just so Perfect. I'm sure. Um, over the needle. Mm -hmm. It just feels different than knitting, you know? It does. Over the needle. Well, yeah, once you've done the first purl stitch, your yarn is where it's supposed to be. So okay. that's really good. You're doing an amazing job. And then around. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we don't want to watch me doing this 40 times because again, <laughs> that will be very painful. So I'll just work on that and uh, come back when I'm done. Perfect. Well, we're back and I've got my 40 stitches, my first row done, I guess, on 40 exactly. of the stitches. And you said to me you'd never purled before. I have not purled before and it's um, amazing. I know, but it took me a little while, but we got there. Exactly, and it looks really nice. And I just want to let you know that first row, it doesn't matter what you're doing, the first row is always a little tricky because when you when you cast on the stitches sometimes they're a little tighter and it just takes a little while once you've done a row then it's going to be much easier so, to do well that's good to know because i'm hoping my next row will be easier. it'll be great good all right so, so next what do we do we we're going to continue stars. purling back and forth and back and forth and you're going to try and make yourself a square and then once you get that done um, then we're going to learn how to cast off but we're going to learn how to um, i say cast off because that's what i learned but bind off but we're going to learn how to bind off pearl wise I just want to um so can I just ask you a question Colleen sure so binding off uh, plain knitting uh like a knit stitch and binding off a um pearl stitch is two different things you don't bind off the same way you don't because you're gonna in the pearl world you're gonna pearl the stitch pearl the stitch and take the one over um, the reason why I'm doing that because some people say why aren't you just casting off or binding off knit wise is the fact that um if there's ribbing, like there is on the bottom of a sleeve, um, then sometimes if it's a knit two, purl two, then you have to knit, bind off knit wise for the first ones and the purl ones you bind off purl wise. So you just want to make sure you're able to do both things. So I'm going to finish my row and then I'm going to set myself up for the next row. All right. I have four stitches left, so here I go. One, so in, right over the left, right needle over left needle around there you go now when you're purling after the first stitch the yarn's just where you need it to be so in around bring it through and then again in and around and bring it through now and then i'm going to bring this needle around now here's where i have to worry about my yarn all right i have to bring it forward i'm going to go in my right needle over my left through the front. I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to bring it through and come off. Now you see that my yarn is where it's supposed to be. So I go in and around and through and off. And you can see that it's much nicer this row. So in and around and off. And then we're just going to keep doing this until we have a square. Well, Colleen, uh, it's been about two and a half hours. <laughs> I was able to get my square done. Now you can go at your own speed. I'm sure you don't have to do it in two and a half hours. Or you could no. do two rows, put it down, three rows, put it down. So just exactly. go at your own speed. But this did take me two and a half hours. Now, what did you think about purling? Well, um, I much prefer to knit. And right. it doesn't really look that much different. <laughs> exactly. So normally, if I was going to be making this type of washcloth, um, I would be knitting it. Um, purling for me and for a lot of people takes a little bit longer. And so it's really up to you. But what I wanted to do, what we wanted to do, was have you learn how to purl because there's all kinds of places and patterns where you might have to purl. Yeah. And so we wanted to make sure we do that. Now, our job now is to cast off. And option one would be we would cast off just like we did when we finished knitting the other dishcloth um, in our previous lesson. But I'm going to have you cast off pearl-wise, bind off pearl-wise. Um, it's an old school way of saying cast off, cast off 
or bind off, but I'm going to be saying bind off. I'm going to practice it and get it good. So <laughs> <laughs> now what's going to happen is we're going to bind off, but we're going to bind off pearl-wise. Um, and I think we may at some point in time do another video where we're just doing how different ways of binding off. Okay, there's okay. more than one way of... Uh, oh my gosh, yeah. there's so many. There's actually books that are just about binding now, off. Now, in our video was just uh, previous, the binding off video was just in showing was you... Was binding off knitwise. All right. Okay, so get yourself ready like you're going to purl the rope, right? We're ready to go. We're ready to go. We're going to purl the first two stitches. So there's one. You should be an expert at purling now. And there's two. And then just like we did when we cast off knitwise, you take your left needle, go into the stitch that is closest to your, in my case, right hand, and then you're gonna pick that up and put it over the other one. Same idea, we're just going to purl the next stitch. So it's exactly the same, Colleen, only you're not knitting this the original stitch, you're purling it. You're purling the stitches. But you so take it off purl, the same way. Same way. You go in with your left hand needle, take that stitch over top of that stitch, and then there we go. And we're just, every time we do that, we're getting rid of a stitch. And so we have 40 of those to do, but we can do it because you did it really well the last time. I'll give that a shot. All right. stitch. Good, I'm glad you snuck that up. That was good. And then you're going to purl the next stitch. Good job. Very nice. And then snuck that one up. And now you're going to take your left needle. And, and come in into, my that yeah, first and, one. Yeah. This? Yeah, I would hold on tight to that. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to take the stitch that you've got mm -hmm. and, and you're going to pull that up and over the other one and it should come right off. Okay. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you are amazing. Well, yeah. All right, let's do another one. So you have to purl another stitch. So patient. That's because you're and then so amazing. You bring that over and, and there you go. And so you're just gonna keep doing that for the rest of the row. Okay. Fantastic. As May was busy working along doing her bind off she kept coming across this extra bit of yarn. And I'm gonna explain what she was doing. So when you purl this stitch, now, when you go to take this one off, the tendency is to move that one to the back and take it over, no problem so far. But if you go to purl this way, you're gonna end up with that. So when you've taken the yarn and done it over, You've got to always bring it back here. So let me show you what I mean. So I've done that. I'm going to take it behind and bind this one over. But then I have to remember, oh yes, I'm purling. So bring it to the front and then purl again. So you take it behind just to get that stitch easier to remove. But you have to remember to bring it back when you go to the purl stitch. I think that'll be helpful for me, Colleen, because I kept making that one mistake. Yeah. It was the same thing. You just had that extra. Yes. Yep. Extra. Now that I know where to put my yarn, I'm hopeful I can get through that. I think you will. I'm down to my last stitch. So I'm going to do just like I did in lesson three. I'm going to pull that and make it bigger. I'm going to cut my yarn. And then I'm going to take that off the needle and take that end and pull it through. And so there is a lovely little washcloth dishcloth. And now all I have to do is 
uh, weave in these ends and if you look at the end of lesson three that's what you'll see here we are we did it exactly i don't know that was pretty painful for me to do that but we got through it i did and we without, did. with your patience i got through that well exactly we've learned how to purl next time in lesson number five we're going to learn how to increase